Hi Scorpio, this is Logan with Golden Thread Tarot, and this is going to be your weekly reading for October 1st to the 7th. Before I go into your reading, I just want to discuss a couple things with the astrology right now, okay? We do have the sun in Libra, all about relationships, harmony, Venusian energy, okay? How we relate to each other and um, how our internal reflects in the external, okay? We also have a full moon in Aries on the 29th of September, which you would have known from last week. So at this point, the moon is in Aries, okay? This has to do with how we face new challenges and have fiery, passionate beginnings towards our passions, okay? Um, very go-getter energy. And then we also have Jupiter in retrograde in Taurus until December 30th, okay? Now, this is the biggest thing that I'm super excited about because Jupiter is about expansion, good luck, good fortune, and this is a great time to maximize your potential as a human in, in whatever sphere of success and expansion and good luck that you want to receive. So call in the energy of Jupiter at this time, because even though it's retrograde, it's a very abundant retrograde and we have a lot of time to be in it, okay? So... That's everything I'd like to discuss. I just like to say that I do read intuitively, so I'm not thinking about which way the decks are flipped and you know, I, I'm, I'm very connected to, to spirit and God, so um, I'm simply a vessel, okay? If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please like and subscribe. I am a new channel, so uh, this is very exciting for me to be here at this time. And uh, yeah, I'm very happy to have you guys here and to be here myself. So uh, let's get started with your reading, Scorpio. First, I start with lighting the Palo Santo. This is um, ethically sourced from Peru. And this allows me to cleanse the space. So it's just us and the message. We cleanse the space for Scorpio. Okay, let's begin.
All right, so we're first gonna start with this Venom card, okay? Now, you guys, as Scorpios, not trying to be stereotypical here, okay? But you guys are the Scorpions, okay? And you can be prone to spewing out those stings, right? When you're not in a good place, okay? I think that you are tired right now, okay? I think you're tired and this Venom card for me is more of like a Queen of Swords in reverse, okay? Not even like a Seven of Swords or a Five of Swords. I guess it could be a little bit of Five of Swords, but this is because you're overworked. So you're not meaning to be this way. It's just happening because you're not taking care of yourself. Okay, this beaver card here with the bee in reverse and the panther in reverse, okay? This beaver is someone that works super hard to take care of its family, itself, right? To make sure that it has the proper home. It's literally spending all day getting all of that wood and foraging and making the house perfect, right? Busy beaver, right? right next to the B in reverse, okay? The B in reverse means that you're overworked. You're overworked, okay? Pushing yourself way too hard, trying to keep everything afloat, and you're not taking care of yourself, okay? Now you have the Panther in reverse, which is the Seven of Swords in reverse. And this can talk about feeling like a deceitful energy around you or an energy that you can't trust or you're done with like feeling like there are lies happening behind your back, okay? I am picking up right now that this is a work situation because of this busy bee in reverse, okay? And with the beaver here, it's just putting so much work into what you're doing, but, and that's great. Your intentions are very good, but you're burning yourself out. All right, and there's also this air of seven of swords, deceit, trickery that you're not really into either, okay? We have the what needs mending and distill yourself, okay? So there are things in your life right now that do need to be addressed, okay? There are things that you are not looking at that are causing you to be in this energy of being frazzled. I also want to say that with this center and ground card, you're not feeling grounded at this time, okay? Things probably feel very chaotic and all over the place. And um, yeah, you're probably feeling like as though you're in some sort of maze and you're maybe a little bit trapped. So I think it would be a good idea for you this week to, I don't know if you meditate, right? If you don't meditate, don't freak out. It's not like, oh my God, meditation. It's literally, I liken it for, for, for people that don't vibe with meditation. Think about it as going into your own little timeout. <laughs> okay. Your own little timeout. You are because you're, you're forcing yourself to sit, right? You're forcing yourself to sit. So put yourself in a timeout this week. Okay. And sit and be with yourself. 9-11. What do you want? What are you doing? W be conscious about what's happening in your life right now because if you're burning yourself out this is not good okay you have the rewild i think it's been some time since you've had fun i think it's been some time since you've had a really good time and let loose and i think that these burdens and responsibilities that you have rightfully so have been stripping you of um really feeling like free and abundant and playful and happy, okay? Um, this is, you have a lot of serious energy in this right now. Now you have between dreams and pay attention. So there is something that spirit is asking you to look at, okay? When it comes to how you're living your life right now, okay? And with this between dreams, you know, we have been talking in your... 1010 in your recent readings about you maybe leaving a position that you're employed with okay and 
I think that you are between this energy right now where, yeah, it could, it could really be time that you're seriously thinking about making this move, okay? And figuring out what's going to be next, what's going to make you happy. Yeah, you want to feel hopeful again because you've been feeling quite down and a little bit emotional. You're a very hard worker, okay? I know it. I know it. Yeah, I know it. You have the Eight of Pentacles and you have the Ten of Wands upright, okay? So this is you really working hard. And this is your last, you just have to keep pushing, right? You have to keep pushing. I know you have a lot of burdens on your plate right now. I know that things are star in reverse, feeling a little bit hopeless, okay? Feeling like, you know... I want this Ace of Cups. I want to feel, I want to feel love again. 1144, I want to feel love. I want to feel abundant. I want to feel like, I want the joy back. I want the, the love back. I want the, I just want this energy back, right? You know, I don't know if you guys are in a relationship or not. I'm not picking up that you are, but I haven't looked into that, right? I did see the two of cups as I was shoveling, as I was shoveling, <laughs> as I was shuffling. And I saw the clearly the ace of cups here, which does have to do with love. But I think that there's something in your life that is missing and it might be love in general, right? I think you've been feeling again with this Venom card, um, almost like a, like a toxic, and I mean toxic as opposed to tonic, right? I'm not saying like toxic as in like gossipy and, and blah, 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 blah. I'm saying like toxic energy is literally just an environment that isn't good for you anymore, okay? Here's your emperor, right? Here's your empress in reverse, okay? And you had the magician here. Um, three of pentacles I figured would come up and you have the king of cups and you have the queen of cups in reverse. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll get into that in a second. Okay, wait. <laughs> you have the Emperor and the Empress, the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Okay. Now, in between this Three of Pentacles here, okay. This is either you, again, because I have the two of cups and I have the ace of cups here, you're, emperor and the empress in reverse with the king of cups and the queen of cups in reverse with the knight of cups, with the temperance. Okay. I am going to say there could be a potential partnership going on here okay or someone that you're interested in okay but you also in your last couple of readings has have also been the emperor okay and this is where you feel comfortable you feel very comfortable in a dominant and authoritative and controlling role okay you don't feel confident in the feminine role the empress in reverse. You don't feel comfortable being the nurturer and the one that is there making everybody feel better and, and how can we all work together? And yes, it's more of like, I wanna be in control. I wanna be the boss, right? And relinquishing control makes me feel insecure, okay? Makes me feel insecure, makes me feel weak, right? And this king of cups and queen of cups I'm picking up that you don't really do well with the emotional side of things, okay? This is, especially when it comes to work, especially when it comes to work, 
the emotional aspect is not good, okay? You're very sensitive, all right? You're sharp, okay? You don't think about how someone's gonna feel always when you're, when you're saying it to them, right? This is really not being able to handle our emotions that have been coming up lately, okay? And for those of you that are, are in a partnership, I think um, that the emotions and the emotional availability and your sensitivity to each other's needs at this time, especially this week, are not present, okay? Both of you are feeling very off and you're, the masculine is trying to be there and be the provider and he is doing a very good job at doing that. But something about their lack of emotional availability is not making you feel confident and is taking you out of your empress energy, okay? But with this three of pentacles, I am picking up that this is regarding a work situation and how you work with your colleagues, okay? And you also might feel like some of your colleagues are not emotionally available either right maybe some people are shutting down and maybe that's a product of, of how you have been becoming all right so this knight of cups here is an energy of wanting to be vulnerable right wanting to be vulnerable and express yourself and be able to be open with your emotions okay and not hide behind yourself but with this temperance and this um, six of swords in reverse it feels very out of balance when you do that. It feels very out of balance when you do that and you almost feel like you're regressing into old patterns, if that makes sense, um, and going backwards, okay? It's almost like you're submitting in a weird way. And now you have the king of swords upright here you prefer to be like this you prefer to be extremely direct no emotion very factual this is how it is this is very clear and 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 communicative sharp right and there is some sort of resistance here and some stagnation in your energy okay you're not um yeah there are delays here right now there's delays okay you nine of pentacles in reverse with the three of cups in reverse with the two of wands in reverse with the eight of wands in reverse you've been trying to think about moving on but you're stuck okay you're stuck you don't really have that many friends right now okay or you're feeling very isolated if you have friends you are feeling very isolated okay you don't feel like you're fulfilled in the way that you want to be fulfilled, okay? Your life might, might not be super awesome right now. And there's delays and there's stagnancy, okay? And you're really being put in, in a very tough place right now to choose your happiness, okay? To choose your happiness, the sun upright, two of swords upright, justice in reverse, knight of pentacles upright, you're so afraid of making the wrong choice. You're so afraid of making the wrong choice, but whatever's good for you is the right choice. Don't worry about what anybody else's thinking, okay, or how it's gonna look. Whatever brings you closer to your own personal happiness and well being is what you should be doing. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving preparatory energy, okay? You are going slow and methodically taking steps towards entering into this next phase in your life, even though it is not easy, but you're ready and you're excited and it's becoming that time, okay? I'm going to pull one final card. We did go a little bit longer than expected expected for a weekly, but clearly this energy wanted to come out.
a joy simply to be. Nurture, nurtured, nurturing goddess. Throat chakra, visuddha, receive. If you have a sacred place, a personal garden of self-nurture, and you go there often in relay with good intentions, and you drink from this inner well and sip and soak and enjoy, frequently nurturing in conversations with her, something beautiful will happen. What did I say multiple times? Go within yourself, be back into yourself, remember who you are, remember why you even started this whole thing to begin with, and give yourself that time out to be with your own personal garden, okay? All right, Scorpio, this is what I have for you. I hope that you're doing well. And I hope that you have a nice week and I'll see you next time, okay? Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.